I'm gonna go over three Gran Turismo 7 race engineers. Audio feedback. We've got Victory race engineer for GT7, Ezio Dash Pro. And then we've got GT race engineer. And the final one that I can't get running on my Mac as of yet, SVR Racing Hector, which I have seen videos on, but could never actually get it up and running to test it. So first up is Victory. And that's what I've got on screen here. I'm running it in iPhone mirroring mode. We've got the sessions, which you just saw, engineer, which we'll go back to in a second settings so we are connected you can choose your units etc engineer you've got several choices here three english speaking engineers we've got charlie go 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 get through the first corners clean then build the pace gerald here we go stay clean and keep it tidy we're racing not playing dodgem and leroy we underway keep it smooth from the launch in the sessions tab here you can click on this little guy to go full screen see a very nice dashboard and then if you swipe over you can see a dashboard with your brake and throttle telemetry so let's just do a few laps we underway glide through the first corner Tires are perfectly warmed up. You can trust the car, brethren. Lap one complete. One minute, 38 seconds. UNP one. Lap two, one minute thirty seven seconds. UNP one. Here's an example of going off the road and crashing. Rear stepping out, guide her with calm hands. Now for Ezio Dash Pro. This is a paid app. I'll Put the current price up to one time only. Be one person developer who came up with this app and it's pretty great. So we're gonna connect. We're now receiving the data. This one's got three different dashboards on it. So you've got this one showing your gear selection, your brake and throttle, uh, not as a trace, tire temps, times, etc. Here's one that's more focused on just your uh, tire temps and fuel. And then this, similar to that Victory, the one with the brake and throttle tracing. So that is the one I'm gonna go with. We're gonna go back to settings here real quick. Pit crew is where you find your settings for this app. Radio bleep volume I put to low. It's got a sliding scale here of crew communication detail from 1 to 11 we're going to go 10 just to try to trigger this some more and you can select what you want to have it speak into or not and then it does say when enabled here this feature will use synthetic speech to convey useful information and you're gonna hear in a second exactly why they're using the word synthetic so let's go ahead jump back on track Tires are at a good temperature. are not in the window still in the lead 
Lap 2. First flying lap done. New fastest lap. Point 0.1 seconds up on your previous best. Right rear tire is cold. And for consistency, see what happens when we crash. Our last contestant, GT Race Engineer. The other two you saw have dashboards as part of the app. This one does not. This is purely for audio input, feedback, etc. Let's check our settings here. Open this window a bit so we can see better, even though the text is extremely tiny for me. These are all the things that your race engineer will comment down on. Uh, so you can turn these on and off. The ones in gray on the bottom have WIP for work in progress. They are not working just yet. Under audio, we have English. And I believe you've got English, Spanish, German. And for some reason, I cannot view French, but I promise you there it is. It's in there. Uh, what else do we have? Discord transmission. I have not played with this, but I believe you can use this so that you can send it through a Discord server and be able to hear that through the PS5 through a Discord channel, voice channel. The way I am receiving all audio here is, and then some of the balance, the volume of the radio tones. So when you're hearing that beep and static, I'm, I put this down to 1% because it was a bit overdone. And then there's really nothing to see here while it's running. But let's go ahead and engage it. And then we're going to jump on the track. This is... You just clocked 1 minute 37.8 seconds. Progress update lap 2. Plus lap closed time was 1 minute 37.8 seconds. Also, you're currently on lap 2. Pace and sets are two matching your best. Your set to three best is within reach, two tenths to much. Your last lap clocked at 1 minute 37.9 seconds. Heads up 130 milliseconds behind your best lap, keep pushing. Additionally, you're currently on lap three. New benchmark in sector one, two tenths quicker. Heads up rear tie readings are cold. Sector two record, two tenths down. Previous lap was at 1 minute 37.1 seconds. Your new fastest lap, and you're currently on lap 4. Quickest sector 3 yet, 1 tenth down. Is everything good? We are waiting. A few things I wanted to note as I wrap up this GT7 race engineer video. As of the time I filmed this, only the one app, Ezio Dash Pro, is a paid app. However, Victory seems like, according to a Reddit post, that the developer is starting to implement some priced features. I couldn't figure out what those features were or what the pricing is within the app itself. So I've asked and I'll 
follow up on that if I get that information. Um, another question I may have glossed over is, how do you hear these apps? How do you hear these audio cues while you're in game? Uh, I typically wear a headset and for a while I tried to figure out how could I hardwire these things together and frankly I gave up. It was not worth it. I ended up getting a Turtle Beach Stealth 700 headset for Christmas and it includes two USB transmitters that you can plug into consoles or gaming PCs. So I have one plugged into my PS5 and then the headset will simultaneously do Bluetooth. So I'm Bluetooth connected to my laptop at the same time as I'm hearing the game audio. There are two volume controls to separately blend both audio sources. There may be other ways to do it. You could wear earbuds under your headset. You could use speakers in the room. But I have found for me, that's going to be the way I use it. Um, quick rundown of the apps, Ezio Dash Pro iOS only. It is a paid app. I did not enjoy the voice in it, but for the dashboards, the dashboards are killer. Uh, GT Race Engineer, which is voice only, and that does run on my Mac and it runs on Windows and Android. I don't think it runs on iOS as of yet. The voice cues are pretty good in there. That one I kind of like. Victory Race Engineer for GT7. It is Android, iOS, and I got it running on my Mac now, fine. I, I think the voices in there, which I'm assuming are all AI voices, sound great. The telemetry uh, aspect, the telemetry feature, you can kind of use it like Coach Dave Delta or the telemetry that's built into GT7 now to overlay a reference lap with your lap. I haven't dug into that much. Most, much. I wanted this video really to be a review and um, just a demo of the voice features and then Hector I can't get it running yet I will try it again but as of now I'm dead in the water on that one um, just the last thing I wanted to mention I, like right now I think I'm gonna go with victory but I guess that's gonna depend on what I learn about pricing um, the vocal cues in there I think are, are pretty good overall. Uh, I'm glad that developers are working on these things and letting us play around with them. If they start to become paid apps that kind of push you out of the market, I think it's kind of cool. It is a little gimmicky. It's fun for the immersion, but I'm not getting a ton of value out of it other than it's fun to play with. If you have any questions on this stuff, comments, drop them in the comments below, and uh, we'll see you on the next video.